short video today. But today I tried to work out legs, had a little bit of an issue working out the legs. Um, ran into a bit of an issue because of my knee. I don't know if you've been following me. I have chronic arthritis in my ankle for my days in the military. And um, sometimes my ankle just gives out out of the blue. And it had uh, made me mess up my knee a little bit. And so I've been trying to get that together. And um, unfortunately, putting pressure on it, a uh, certain amount of pressure, I say, what I have the three plates on there on the push. And that was giving it a little bit of uh, trouble when I was trying to push with it. But overall, I, I feel good. I feel, you know, instead of putting so much weight on it, I just decided to just take it easy and do high reps. It was still causing a pain, but at least it let me, allow me to work out the muscle. And what I plan on doing is trying different ways to work out the muscle, like walking, maybe even hiking, walking up hills and stuff like that. Of course, I may have to put a little bit more into it and do longer distances, but the goal here is just to get the, get it worked out. You know, I'm drained. Uh, today, you've probably seen, I have my weight, my belt on, which is a Velcro belt from Nike. I'll put a link down at the bottom. I also had the um, knee, knee straps on. I don't know who, who are these, but I'll have the link in the bottom of it or whatever. So right now I'm eating my meal prep. It looks like uh, broccoli, also some bison, bison meat. And you know, I love my Japanese sweet potatoes here. I love those things baked. So that's what I'm doing. And I also have a protein shake. This is by IsoPure. I'll put a link down below for the IsoPure perks. And I, I think uh, on IG, someone asked me about my headphones that I was wearing in the video. This is them. Um, I'll put a link down below. It's from Plantronics. I think it's Plantronics. But I ran into an issue when I was working out. And it's weird. The music, even though I had to clip in, um, what are they called? Um, Dre Beats. I'm sorry. I'm so exhausted right now. But I'm making sure I get this video up. Um, it's Dre Beats. And when it gets wet and I start sweating, doing some cardio or even working out, it'll fall out. And then I have a hard time reaching the thing. I know I don't have the biggest biceps, but I got some big biceps. So I have a hard time reaching, you know, to pause it. And then when, you know, I might get a call or something like that, I can't, you know, answer it there. No one can ever hear me. I'm sorry, I'm eating while I do this. You know, I'm starving if you know me. I'm up to, uh, I think five or six meals a day right now. I think five, maybe. With maybe a meal, extra meal in this, so six meals. I know I'm all over the place, but. So, I put the link down to that at the bottom. And if you notice my new balance and you like them, I'll put a link up there because I know people ask about certain things. And to answer the question, no, I have not established where to, I wish I knew who asked. I should have thought about that before I did this, but. I have not established a website to purchase any gear, but you know, maybe I'll do something where you can win it. You know, um, I'll tell you what, comment below. Let me know you're interested in it. If you're interested in getting some gear and um, you're willing to do a competition because I know everybody doesn't have a lot of money. If you're willing to show me, you know, like weight loss or some progression videos, something like that, I'd be more than willing to send something, but let me know you're interested. You can hit me on IG or whatever, but let's, let's go over what happened today so as I can get into my um, meal and go home. So number one, I'm at Gold's Gym and Richie Station right now. I found some other equipment. I was wrong about the leg machines. There was a whole other group of leg machines that I had not seen that allowed you to do a great workout. So that's a plus. I started out Doing a couple machines that I didn't record because it was a warm up, but my warm up consists of, I want to say, reps of 15, and maybe four or five sets of it. I try not to go no lower than 15 reps on anything. And why? I know people ask. Why? Because I think that's what the bodybuilders do. I'm just being honest. You remember I said that the, the, the first teacher you can have. It's a teacher right in front of you. You know, instead of trying to find someone to teach you, you got YouTube, you got people in the gym doing things, watch them learn. 
And that's what I ended up doing to the team. So I warmed up on two machines. And then I ended up going over and doing the like leg butterfly thing. I'll show it to you. Um, it was feeling good. I was working out the um, butt area, the thighs and the inner thigh, the quad and the inner thigh, and out on one machine. It was a good workout. I feel good about it. I think that um, in order to be prepared for this competition, I need to do a lot more. I'm just being honest. I'll give you, you know, hopefully you see a video of what my leg is looking like now. But I feel like I need to do a lot more than what I'm doing right now, you know? I know people around me are telling me I'm looking good for, you know, how far I have. I still got 11 weeks, I think it is. Sorry, I'm starving and I just worked out, like literally just stopped my knee is coming. But I feel like I got a lot more to go. Um, I plan on hitting up the cardio, like heavy. Not this weekend, but next weekend. And when I say heavy, I mean introducing car cardio to the workouts that I already have. So if someone is complaining that they don't want to be in the gym for two, two, you know, an hour, two hours, or whatever, more than likely that person doesn't have my exact body. So I'm just being honest. They don't have my exact body. There's no way in hell. Because if they did, they'd be getting this work. So my body, and you gotta factor in, I'm not the youngest, you know, whippersnapper, as you call it, out there. It take me a good, you know, warming up my muscles, getting them prepared, hopefully not to get an injury, but you know, still done with this knee thing. But it takes a good maybe 15, 20 minutes of stretching. And if I'm doing a great job, it could go into, you know, 30, 30 minutes or so, maybe 45 minutes of stretching. You know, if I'm feeling like, you know, I have a place to stretch and they have the equipment for me to stretch out, I normally use bands of a sort or some type of straps to stretch out. But, and then I go into the workout and with that workout, whatever I'm doing, and you know, I do legs every other day, not hardcore every other day, but I just make sure I condition them, like I keep them going, you know what I'm saying? But with that plan, I'm adding in my cardio. And keep in mind, I'm a natural bodybuilder, natural amateur, because I haven't even completed, so I don't even think I consider myself an amateur yet until I complete. And I wanna give the bodybuilders that proper respect by not calling myself an amateur bodybuilder until I actually compete because now that I see what they do and how they get there, that's hard. And i tell you what, and I know I said this was gonna be a short video, but one thing I do admire, and I, I hadn't noticed, but I notice now, most of the YouTube videos that I see are bodybuilders out there, you know, getting ready or getting ready for a competition. Like look at the video, it's normally not a lot of people in the gym. And I see why now, I see why now, because there are so many distractions out there, you know, when I'm trying to do something, there's so much going on on the sidelines that it could throw you off like crazy. I mean, even if you had planned on, you might plan on your, your only thing, okay, let me get some lats pulled down, today I'm gonna work out the back. But then you get there and everything you wanted to work out is being used. So you have no way of even getting on the equipment. You know, because it's so, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's um, a bad thing, but when you got a set schedule, okay, you're gonna work out this muscle. And keep in mind the difference between the bodybuilder and you know what I'm saying, the weightlifter. The bodybuilder has, you know, they, they, they know the exact muscles, not just the muscle, group, but the inner, outer, the, 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 the medial, you know, all, all these different muscles that they know and so they they need specific machines and specific workouts in order to do that you know to get that muscle to react so that's why i have a huge respect for that all right guys i appreciate i appreciate your support please continue to watch if you haven't liked it subscribe if you haven't told somebody about the channel please do 
I'm gonna try my best to put up more videos as I progress. I'll try to put up one every couple days. Not a major one, but something like this where I'm just talking to you. So I appreciate you, the summer is now. This is Bear, Rufus Patterson. Enjoy you, enjoy life, and enjoy fitness. Now let me eat my bison. Excuse me.